Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. How you guys are doing? I hope your watercolor paintings are moving forward and uh, you are improving your watercolor day by day. And I'm thankful to all of you who's coming back to my channel and, uh, uh, and uh, find my channel more appropriate for you to, to learn watercolors. So this is really uh, a big uh, motivation for me. You guys are appreciating my work and my effort. So especially when I get several emails from around the world uh, appreciating my effort, it's really delightful for me and uh, it motivates me to create uh, several uh, watercolor learning content for you guys. So let's go ahead and today I come up with a, a new video uh, which would help many of uh, the watercolor beginners, especially for those people who travels a lot and uh, they love to do, uh, you know, uh, a sketch and uh, a, a bit of doodling. So I just thought that uh, I should give you a little more brief on it. So this video would help you to understand uh, how to improve your watercolor sketch, some of that technique which you have to apply while doing the watercolor sketch. So friends, I hope uh, you will enjoy this video and uh, please do write your comments and suggestions if you have anything uh, to improve this uh, uh, tutorial. I will definitely look into it and uh, I will reply you back. So friends, I have seen that many of you have uh, not subscribed my channel. So I would uh, request you to please subscribe my channel. And the reason is why you should subscribe my channel is uh, I keep updating and uh, keep uploading uh, new videos uh, every alternate day. You might be uh, losing a lot many watercolor tutorial which I am uploading uh, in very frequently. So I would request you to please subscribe my channel. This will help you to uh, keep you updated whenever I'm uploading any videos. The notification, the bell icon, uh, which will allow you whenever I upload any new video, this will give you a, a notification or whenever I'm live and doing the live watercolor demo, it will give you a notification. So I would request you to click on the bell icon which notifies you and please subscribe my channel. So thank you so much. I hope uh, you will be doing that now. And uh, yes, so let's go ahead. So friends, in this video, I would be talking about uh, how to approach uh, a watercolor sketch and uh, the technique uh, which we need to improve as a, as a watercolor sketcher. So uh, there are a few points uh, which I want to bring here, uh, which might help you. You need to carry some of the essential, which is uh, required when you're planning to do a watercolor sketch. Uh, so first thing is uh, uh, you carry a watercolor sketchbook with you uh, based on your preference, whether it's a smaller uh, pocket size sketchbook or a medium size. Based on your preference, you should have those uh, sketchbook with you. Have one sketch pen uh, similar like this uh, or uh, whichever brand uh, you prefer more. Uh, have this watercolor sketch uh, sketch pen, this is a needle one. And uh, you also can carry uh, a 6B pencil. I have this book which is an A4 size. So you can carry all of this with you. I'll just go ahead and I'll give you a quick example of this. So. So let's take an example. I am uh, traveling somewhere and I've seen, suppose, uh, you know, uh, this is the city market. Uh, there's a lot of signages in the market and, uh, you know, like this. There are several people here just, you know, going around. All right. Now, You'll be seeing a lot many things from here to here, all around. So many subjects. Among all these subjects, what do you want to make? What motivates you? What inspires you to create a sketch? Okay. Does it this composition? Does it this or this, this or something else? Right. So you really don't need to concentrate in each and every. The moment you try to create all of these sketches, you will have a tough time to manage all of this. So better what you do is, among all of this, just take this as your focal point and just ask yourself, what do you want to make? 
is that something you wanted to make you wanted to sketch okay there are people talking okay there are few people just having tea or coffee just having a, a regular chat is that you wanted to make or there are one shopkeeper who's selling one burger or anything there are few people who's buying the burger or ice cream or whatever is that something inspiring you what do you want to make so pick the subject from here either here or here or anywhere okay you don't need to give on a whole lot of effort to creating the entire thing so this is the kind of practice you need to bring in and it's a quick way to turn up your sketch okay now the I will just show you one example which I already had done so recently I visited to a place and uh, I found this interesting subject where there are a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, buildings and uh, the signages and uh, the coffee and so many subjects of what I was talking about one point where my eye got uh, completely uh, stuck was this where the people are having the tea or coffee outside of this restaurant okay which is beautiful so what I did is I made the sketch I made a visual uh, you know uh, picture in my mind and uh, I just thought this is the subject I wanted to make and it took me uh, just barely uh, five minutes to create the sketch so what I want to do is I wanted to uh, I want to make a, a quick uh, you know uh, my coloring of this so I'll just tell you what to do So what I, what I will do is, I'm not going to create a complete picture of it. I'll just, you know, just in a one, in an expression. What I have seen there, that's all, nothing much. This is not even a, a watercolor paper. This is a general paper, A4 size paper I was using. So I'm just showing you how to just uh, put the color and nothing much work. So it's just as a traveler, you don't have a much time, or if you are out outside, you are traveling somewhere, or at your office, or anywhere. Usually you don't have much time to do all of this. So what I'm suggesting you to, to be a little fast. Don't give too much of color or uh, details and everything. Okay. And you can create a, your watercolor journal something using this method okay so the reason I'm giving the dark here because I wanted to make these guys who's having the coffee and tea wanted to pop out so you need to give another shadow little darker depth here I don't know how much visible to you is it visible okay I think this is fine just play with the color that's all you don't need to spend much time doing this because the people will not be there they'll just have their they'll finish their coffee and they'll run away so before they run away you need to 
so even you know uh, that's the another uh, subject to talk about uh, no matter even the subject is still available there you need to create those mental pictures you have to memorize it uh, and that's the beauty and uh, without that because you are not sure that uh, how long those subject will be available to you right they'll not sit with they'll not the, the subject will not be available for you to come and paint me right they'll finish their job and they'll run so before they run you memorize it and later you can so so in this case i memorize it right but i know what was there what was the scene this there was ch chair and so this is the place in Pune uh, there's a very famous restaurant That's so all guys, you don't need to do much here. Your watercolor sketch is ready. That's all you have to do. Okay, let's see. So, I've just given a what color it is and the overall composition what I want to express what what was the, the the environment you just want need to feel that environment so this is what I wanted to uh, bring as my art expression uh, about that uh, you know subject so it's just like on a quick turn around of your your expression what you feel about that place how was the surrounding not to go about the depth and you know all those detail because if I start doing the detailing and all everything then it may you know I might not able to bring the values on my particular subject so my subject was to people are there in this restaurant and having their tea and coffee and their breakfast uh, and that's what I wanted to make right so observing the surrounding and getting inspired what you want to make is uh, very important and uh, this technique which you have to develop so I was talking about to carry your sketchbook so in this case I was there uh, and I was carrying my sketchbook and uh, observe the surrounding and uh, just see that what motivates you create a mental picture before you start sometime uh, you know but things will not be there and uh, you don't have uh, enough time to uh, you know uh, create those uh, uh, the complete environment you have to register it so i hope these uh, techniques would uh, would help you to you know improve your watercolor sketch and guys, so watercolor sketch is just super medium. I mean, I really fascinate and I really love doing watercolor sketch, especially when I travel. I, I wherever I travel in any mode, I love to do watercolor sketch. Even if I'm not able to do the coloring of it, at least I do the sketch and later I do uh, coloring. So I hope you enjoy this video and you have learned something. Please do write your comments and suggestions if you have anything. And guys, please subscribe my channel. Uh, click on the bell icon so you will get the notification. Many thanks to all my patrons who has been supporting me. And uh, I look forward to have more of you as my patrons so I can continue doing this watercolor tutorial. So thank you so much everyone watching this video. And I'll be coming with a new video.
soon thank you so much take care and have a nice watercoloring